Hello, my people. What's going on? It's me, Zemir TV, and yes, I'm in a Christmassy mood. Um, but it's the last match day. A match, match day. It is the last match day of the Bundesliga, and it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a very interesting one, not just because of the match day itself, but because of what happens after it. After this match day, we'll find out whether Pep is going or whether Pep is staying. Now, I did a few videos, not really videos, but a few more like podcasts, whatever, that I'll be uploading um, during the week. Obviously, you know, this week between this week and next week. And um, just because I'll be away, and that way I'm still able to talk about a few things I wanted to talk about um, at the right time, at the wrong time, you know, depending on the situation. So basically, I made a video if Pep stays, if Pep goes, I made a video for every situation basically. So, yes, let's actually get into this match today, though. Let's actually get into this match today. One more good thing that'll happen, then I'll probably make a different. No, actually, no, I won't make a different video about this. Let's make it all in one video. Um, Muller, Boateng, Javi, and Javi. They, okay, I, I, they can't say Jabi Alonso. Jabi, I, I, it just feels sick, wrong. But Alonso, Javi, Miller, and Boateng. All of them have extended a contract. Everyone has extended a contract to 2021, except Alonso, who's extended it to 2017. So, yeah. I guess I guess let I guess next it will be Lewandowski to match State night because obviously he's the one that hasn't got a contract extension, which means that he'll get one soon. Um, a few players that you know I think should get a contract extension. Götze, um, Alaba. You know these are players that should get a contract extension, in my opinion. What do you guys think? But anyway, let's get into this match day. Into this uh, into a preview for this match day. As always, I'll be talking about Bayern Munich last because yeah, I want to talk a little bit more about them. You know, you know. Let's begin with today's match. Schalke versus Hoffenheim is about to kick off in about 40 minutes. And, um, wow. Uh, Schalke should win. Schalke should win. They should really end this match. Like, at home, last match day, you know, you kind of expect them to win at home last match day because you just want to give your fans a little bit of extra, a little bit of you know, something special that they can then go into the holidays and be like, yeah, you know what, we won our last home, we won our last home match, Let's all, it's all good. That's basically what I think Schalke will do um, today. I think they'll beat Hoffenheim. I do think it's going to be quite a high scoring. I think all matches this week will be quite high scoring just because it's the end of the thing. So every player will give 110% just because they know, you know, what I can give 110 percent, and next week I'll be on break. I'll be I'll, I'll be somewhere in uh, South America, just drinking my you know my cocktail and everything, and I'll be gone. I'll be happy for a few months or so. So that's what I think this match will end up as a free two five goals a free two Schalke very good in attack not that good in defense so free two sounds about right free two that, that's what prediction Schalke to win free two. Next up, Eintracht Frankfurt versus Werder Bremen. Now, um, but going by the logic that I just said that home teams they want to kind of win it or whatnot, I'm gonna have to say I don't think that's gonna be the case with this home match. I think that Werder Bremen is gonna give that extra little something, something, and that's what I think Werder Bremen will win that match three two, three two. Yeah. So the first match, Schalke won three two. In this match, the away team is gonna win three two, or should I say two three? Really, um, but I think Werder Bremen is going to win three two. Next up, Ingolstadt versus Bayer Leverkusen. I like Leverkusen. I like the way they're playing, and I like the way the players have been playing. I think the two um, man striking partnership between Chicharito, or should I say Chicadios, and um, Kiesling, they've, they've worked really well in the, in the last match that they played against. Um, sorry, they played really well in the last match that they played against Gladbach and then in, um, in the weekday match in the DFB Pokal. So I think they're going to continue doing that just to see you know, how it works. Um, and then during the winter break, they'll really work on their, them two really meshing together. And that's what I do think that by Leverkusen, they're going to win. But in typical by Leverkusen fashion, I do think that's going to be a very, a very exciting match. So I expect that match to be a 4-3. 4-3. 3 a 4 3 yes you heard it here first i think by leverkusen is going to win 4 3 that's that's actually a 2 but let's extend that thing a 4 4 3 4 3 yes you heard it here first next up Köln versus dortmund now dortmund is only 5 points off the first who well i guess who first is i guess who's first oh. um 
But Cologne, they're actually really good this season. I, that's I, I look at the table before, and actually surprising a little because I thought it would be a lot, a lot. I thought it'd be like near a relegation place because I haven't really, I don't really know many of their great players and whatnot. And like I knew one, two, maybe the striker, you know. But besides that, not, they don't have really, they don't really have star players that really, really stand out. So it was actually quite a surprising to see them not that low at the table. Um, because I expect them to be a lot lower. I'll be honest here. But, 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 um. Royce is injured. Royce is well, he is injured. He that's just the way it is. Royce is injured, and uh, Owen Bank he's firing goals as he's been doing the whole season. I don't want him to fire goals because I want Lewandowski or Muller to get the talk on You know, I want I want them to be the um the I want them to win the Golden Boot basically. You know, that's what I want, man. I kind of want something like that. No, okay, no, okay. Um. But I do think that Dortmund is, has just too much firepower. But I can, I can see some mistakes in the back. Hummels, ooh, he's looked pretty good in the last match or so, but he hasn't looked that impressive before that. So I'm hoping that he'll make a mistake, just because for the sake of the game being entertaining. I do see Dortmund win though, and I think that match is going to end up as a four-three. Again, I, we have Leverkusen's match ending as a 4-3, and now we'll have Dortmund's match ending as a 4-3. Yes, we're going to have a lot of gold. Gold, gold, gold. Gold, gold, gold. Yes, we're going to have a lot of gold holes. Yeah. Next up, Hamburg versus Augsburg. That's an interesting one. That's a very interesting one. Because Hamburg last season, like, I keep mentioning it. Every single match there, I keep mentioning that. That I think last year, last season at Hamburg, I would have said they would, have, they would lose 5-0. Yeah, I, I would have said five 0 especially with the form that Augsburg were on last year. I would have, I would have said Augsburg are gonna win five 0 But the thing is, the roles have kind of um, switched this season. You know, Hamburg they're doing pretty well. Augsburg uh, here and there, you know, they, they're not doing that well in the um, Bundesliga, but they're doing pretty good in Europa. I do think they're gonna go out though in Europa. I mean, come on, man, come on, no, no, no chance, no chance. But, 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 um, Hamburg. And I can't believe I'm saying that I think Hamburg is going to win. I think Hamburg will win, but I do think that both defenses will leak so many goals that it'll be crazy. So I think this match is going to end them as a 4-3, a 4-3, a 4-3. Yes, another 4-3, the third 4-3 in a row. I do think Hamburg is going to win 4-3, but I do think it's going to be a 4-3. We're going to get goals. We're going to get goals. It's going to get goals. Yes, we are going to get goals. We're going to get goals. 4-3 for Hamburg. Next up, Stuttgart versus Wolfsburg. Now, Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg. I said before, in about two matches ago, that I think two two matches previous ago, that I think that Wolfsburg they will really go on a run. They will really do well, and that they will start to start to go on a winning run for like 10, 10, 15 games or so. And I do think that this is another game that they will win. We're well, another game that will have a lot of goals, but this time I think the goals are going to be a lot more one-sided. So instead of a 4-3, I will go with a 6-1 for Wolfsburg. I will see, I can see a Bentner hat trick. Schurler will get one goal. Draxler will get one goal. And Cruiser will get one goal. We have 6-1. Six, 6-1. One. Six, one. Yes, a lot of goals. Seven goals again. Ooh, it's such a good match state. It's going to be such a great match state. I bet now that I'm saying all like, that there, there are going to be so many goals. I bet there's not going to be a single goal in like, the whole match state. If that happens, I, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. But, but Sunday. 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 Hertha Berlin versus Mainz. Ooh, that's going to be a very interesting one. So, Hair Triple in. The question on everyone's mind is, can they keep it up? And honestly, I have to say, yes. Yes, I do, I do think they're going to keep it up. I, I honestly, I can see them keep it up. And that's what I think they're going to win against mine. Just because I want them to be in the top four. I want them to give some challenge to the likes of Gladbach, to the likes of Leverkusen, to the likes of Schalke to an extent to the likes of um, Dortmund not so much because Dortmund is basically already guaranteed like a second place at the way they're playing right now but I, I, I do want Hertha Berlin to give like a challenge to Wolfsburg Schalke Leverkusen Gladbach just because you're having, having someone new fight for them just fight for, I don't want them to be there at the end of the season but just having someone there to fight for these places is going to be interesting now what do you think the score is going to be though? Uh -huh. Mines, they can score goals. Mines can score goals. They can absolutely score goals. <laughs> the goal is pretty huge, so if they don't score a goal, that's, that, that's pretty sad. But, I do think that match is going to end up as a 5-2. 5-2. 5-2 to Herbal and 5-2. 5-2. 
I think Hurt Willing is going to win 5-2. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is just because I want goals. <laughs> I want goals. I want to see goals. I, want, I, 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 I like goals, okay? Sue me. I like goals, okay? Okay? It's what I like. I, I like seeing goals. I like seeing the ball go into the square. It's not really a square, but, you know. That, 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 that's some bad. <laughs> no, nah, 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 forget that. Forget forget what I just said. The last thirty seconds. But next up, Gladbach versus Darmstadt. Now Darmstadt, it's actually kind of funny what they said after we played them in the people call that. You know, we had, we apparently had spies in there. You know, looking at their set piece play, looking at how they defended, how they did their set pieces, and I was just like, what? <laughs> like like what? No, 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 I'm, I'm not having that. And I'm glad Bach, they've been on a losing spree. They've lost against Leverkusen. They lost, I believe, it was 5-0. Yeah, it was 5-0. Chikorito scored 3 and Kiesling scored 2. Yeah, so it was a 5-0. Before that, they lost against City. And in the DFB, Pokal, I can't remember who they played against. Um, I think they played against Hoffenheim. I'm not 100% sure, but I do think they played against Hoffenheim. And they lost. So they've been on a three game losing spree. And as you guys know, I believe that when there is a losing spree, there'll be a winning spree. The same way that after a winning spree, there'll be a losing spree. So, yeah. That was basically the perfect example of that. They have like a 10 match losing spree. Then, like, they have a 10 match winning spree. And now they're on a three match losing spree. And I do think they're going to win this match. It's going to be at home. You know, it, Gladbach at home, that's already trouble. That, that's already trouble. That's already trouble from the get-go. So I think this match is going to have goals. And Gladbach, they score a lot of goals in the first place. Darmstadt, they're okay at defending. I wouldn't say good. I wouldn't say great. I wouldn't say bad. I wouldn't say awful. i just say okay. Um, so I'm going to say... Uh, it's going to be wrong what I'm going to say. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying it's going to be wrong because I'm going to say it's going to end up as a 6-1. But, but I see it being more of a 5-2. Personally, I think it's going to be much more of a 5-2, but I just have that feeling that it's going to be a 6-1. So my brain tells me 5-2, my heart tells me 6-1. Make what you want from that. But let's actually get into the match, into the match, into our match. Hannover 96 versus Bayern Munich, yes. And I'll be honest here. Look at our form, you know, our last three, four matches, we haven't been that good. We have not been that good, but the winter break is just around the corner. Coleman is the only winger left. Muller will play, most certainly. Goetze will play. No, he won't play. Muller will play. Robin will play. Not Robin. Uh, sorry. I'm just having a brain freeze here. Muller will play on the right, obviously. Coleman on the left. Lewandowski as a striker. Who knows who will play in the middle. Um, Thiago could he come on. I, I don't want to see him come on. That's my problem. I don't want Thiago to come on. I like Thiago. I like Thiago, alright. But... I don't want to see him get injured. The whole thing with Ribery, I don't want to see Thiago get injured. And that's why I think that Vidal should come on. I think Vidal should be playing 90 minutes and the neighbor's dog is barking. Um, but I think Vidal should have a full 90 minutes in this match. And then, you know, I want to see Vidal just have a full 90 minutes because he hasn't had that for like three or four games now already. And it's kind of sad, actually. But, um, yeah, I do want to see Vidal play. Seriously, that dog, that neighbor... <sighs> Anyway, I do want to see Vidal play for 90 minutes. The thing is, though, that I also want to see a Vidal goal. Hannover 96, I haven't actually watched that much of them. Um, or at least I can't remember that much of them. And I do have to say, though, that I do expect this match to have goals. Just like all the other matches, I expect this match day to be a match day of goals. And that's what I do think that this match will end up. I can't believe I'm saying that. As a 6-1. I can, and the reason why I can't believe I'm saying that is because I don't know where we're going to get our pace from. I, I don't know where, but I, I do still think that it's going to end up as a 6-1. Or Actually, no, you know what? Let's, let's not say 6-1. Let's say this match is going to end up as a 4-2. Um, why did they put the heat on? Anyway, uh, I do think this match is going to end as a 4-2, and I think that's going to be the game. I think Vidal will score a hat-trick, and Miller will score one goal. But tell me what you guys think on the comment section down below. I know the ending was kind of rushed or whatnot, but uh, just, it's, it's a bit annoying, the, dogs, the dog barking and... Anyway, um, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. This was me, me to be. As always, you can rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. Peace out and have a nice day. Bye.